Oh, look at this. Ohio is suing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers because they're threatening to dump silt dredged from the Cuyahoga River huh. into Lake Erie. Cowabunga. Cuyahoga, that's, yeah. That's a river that keeps catching on fire, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's Cuyahoga, which is an old Indian word, right. meaning fire! <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, I remember it well. Well, I remember it. I was born just outside of Cleveland. How far outside? Never far enough, I always say. You know, if you move the letters of Cleveland around, they spell C and leave. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's a hidden code. Oh, know? that's a great place, actually. I have very fond memories of snorkeling for retreads in Lake Erie every summer. And we'd take them home and paint them white and sell them as lawn planters to people. Oh, gosh, I remember, remember those. those? Yeah. yeah. And do you remember also those lawn globes? Yeah, sure did. We made and sold those, too. Well, you made those? Yeah, yeah, you get a fishbowl. Turn upside down, spray paint the inside, yeah. you know, bingo, fishbowl. We had pink flamingos on our front lawn. Those tacky plastic atrocities. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. These were Never. real flamingos. We lived in Florida. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. God help us. Tennessee has approved measures that would establish the Bible as the state's official book. The Bible? The Bible. As an official? Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez, Louise. That's amazing. That tightens the old Bible belt a few notches, doesn't it? Yeah. God. N Nebraska could have official book, uh, Children of the Corn. Yeah, or any state of Washington could uh, publish a laminated edition of Fifty Shades 50 of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey, right. Uh, Georgia. Uh, Deliverance. Deliverance, right. Uh, Wisconsin. Mein Kampf. Jawohl, yeah. mein Herr. You know, my sister lives uh, way, way up north. Do you know if they have a state book? Alaska. Alaska. Good, good. She married an Eskimo as an eye doctor, but it didn't work out. Why not? Turned out he was just an optical illusion. <laughs> optical <laughs> illusion. Well, nobody reads books today anyway. They go to the movies or they... They don't, they don't, they don't even go out. They just download stuff and w watch it at home. I, I watched The Ex Expendables the other day that way. No, oh, perfect title for that film, The Expendables. Yeah, 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 yeah. Non-stop, death-defying action. And I could care less if anyone survives. <laughs> that whole cast was expendable, in my opinion. Well, it says here they're shooting a sequel. Oh, no. Please shoot me first. Yeah, it's starring Kevin James, Billy Gardell, Melissa McCarthy, Louie Anderson, and Rebel Wilson. What? They're calling it The Expandables. Okay. You got me. <laughs> you got me that time. I got the crow, too. You hear that? Yeah, he you laughed. like that one, he huh? He laughed. Yeah. Oh, this is real. 30 prison employees are getting laid off because they're closing all the prison stores in Michigan. Well, no, that's just terrible. Where are the folks going to get their prison souvenirs, you know? Right, right. Their, their orange onesies and their, uh, 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 their used bitch collars. Yeah. And their shivs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You almost <laughs> forgot used bitch collars, didn't you? <laughs> How can you forget a used bitch collar? Eh, it's criminal. It's criminal. Smell the glove. Oh, and listen to this. The Fish and Wildlife Service has listed the northern long-eared bat as a threatened species. Really? What's the problem? Well, they're all showing some signs of a thing called the white nose syndrome. White nose syndrome. I had friends in college who suffered from that. I walked that thin white line myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, they just came out with a line of powdered alcohol for backpackers. They call it palcohol. Huh. The alcoholics pal. Now you can really have a, a, a snort of scotch. Right, right. <laughs> Ooh, this is unusual. In Wisconsin, some of the top cheese experts competing for the U.S. Cheese Championships are visiting local schools helping students with their cheese no, skills. No, I think you mean chess. No, no, I don't. It says right here in black and white. Oh, yeah, okay, well, you know, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but now you've made me hungry. Well, here comes the bus. Oh. Chess in time, too. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. Get it? I got it. Jeez. Boomers on a Bench is based on actual and factual freshly broken news. It's all re re real, folks. 